massive amount of Pokemon information has been leaked. It's time for the latest news, out of Japan. Game Freak, the developer behind Pokemon, confirmed a major data breach after being hacked in August earlier this year. The hack exposed the personal information of over 2,000 individuals, including names and email addresses of current, former, and contract employees. Game Freak has apologized for the breach and said they've worked to fix the security issues that allowed the hack. The leak also revealed secret information about future Pokemon games and projects. Among the stolen data are code names for the upcoming 10th generation Pokemon games, referred to as K and N. These games are expected to release on both the Nintendo Switch and its upcoming successor, codenamed Ounce. Although Nintendo hasn't officially announced the next-gen console, fans are already excited about what it could bring. Additionally, a new project called Synapse was mentioned, co-developed with another studio. It's being said that this game will be Splatoon-like. What that really means is anyone's guess. The breach also revealed unused assets and source code from older Pokemon games like Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Black 2, and White 2, along with music and character designs. The leak didn't stop at video games. There's also information about live action adaptations, including a sequel to the 2019 Detective Pikachu movie, tentatively titled The Great Detective Pikachu. There were also rumors about a trilogy of live action Pokemon movies, with one potentially focusing on the original Game Boy. Additionally, a live action Pokemon series for Netflix was mentioned. This incident reminds fans of the 2020 Nintendo Giga Leak, where similar internal information, development, tools and prototypes were leaked. With the 2025 release window for Pokemon Legends ZA, many believe it will launch on both the Switch and the Ounce console, making it a cross-generation game. While fans are excited about these leaks, neither Nintendo nor the Pokemon company has commented on the details, leaving many questions about the future of these projects unanswered. Speaking of fans, there were several bits of information released in these leaks that ticked them off in one way or the other. A fan criticized the designs of an upcoming video game, saying, The Pokemon leaks are wild. It straight up looks like they were designing a horror game. Similarly, fans have drawn comedy from the fact that Skylar from Pokemon was confirmed to be a sexy pilot who's an 18-year-old Latina. And they've begun making memes about how the company has a fetish for Latinas. But on a more serious note, fans were absolutely creeped out by the lore from Nintendo exploring relationships between humans and Pokemons. As a fan said, seems like the writing team at Game Freak really put the freak in their name. This is some nightmare fuel straight from the leak. And in all this chaos, certain fans feel that Nintendo deserves having their content leaked for some reason. Well. Those that don't believe this have begun speculating and anticipating the severe punishment that will be handed to the person behind this insane leak. Nintendo strongly protects its IPs, so we agree with the fan who said, The person who leaked a whole terabyte of Pokemon info is 100% getting 23 life sentences, 5,947 years in prison, and is going to owe 752 trillion to Game Freak and Nintendo. Regardless of how things play out, this is an unfortunate development for the companies in charge, and we can only wait to see how they tackle these issues moving forward. 